I made a new challenge in Breath of the Wild where I had to complete Vaughn Meadow as fast as possible. The catch? I had to dye my clothes in Seahawks colors before I could finish the run. The run ends as soon as I get Revali's Gale. And this is how it went. There we go. That was kind of bad timing, but it's close enough. <laughs> Just gotta remove like... That is a Sheikah Snake. Probably a... Take it. Second. It will help guide you after your long slumber. I still got it in like English and stuff, but just gonna go with it. Now, I want the old shirt, but I don't want the trousers. I will just get the Halloween trousers because the, the old trousers are short, so I don't really want to use that. Here we go. So we're gonna pick this up. That's the old shirt. Only piece of armor we're gonna get for a little bit. And next we're gonna clip through here. Easy. Oh my God. Where am I going? I haven't done speedruns in a bit. Oh my God, you gotta go like over here first. Okay. So obvious I haven't done speedruns in quite a while. So we gotta go to this little part. There we go. And this allows us to skip the entire opening cutscene, which is obviously very good. And it also allows us to skip <clears throat> um, the day and night cycle. So it's always gonna be 5 a.m. in the game, no matter what. Obviously, for this kind of challenge, very useful. And we're gonna pick up this pot lid right away. Now, in a normal, like any percent run, you'd also rush for um, one of those buckle spears as well. But we're not gonna do that. We're just going to do this normally. We're gonna make our way over here. And we can shield jump over here. Not shield jump, shield surf. There we go. And then we're gonna get the little Zelda cutscene here. <clears throat> I'm hoping for like a two hour run or something. We'll see how fast I can do the Great Plateau. That's really gonna decide how fast we can actually do this. We want to get these arrows over here. It's gonna help quite a bit, and then we wanna do this. I messed up, but pretty much you wanna jump to cancel your swing animation, and then you can uh, just grab the bow right away. But I messed up a little bit there, but it's fine. Please don't throw rocks. Okay, we still made it up though. Yeah, that was a pretty decent start. And next we have to flip through here, which I'm pretty sure you aim at like this bean shape thing and then do like a shield jump. And we have a really good skew right now. And you wanna aim, I think here. See if we can get it. I'm not great at equipping through shrines. No. Oh boy, we probably lost the skew now. If you do a bonk like that, you usually lose skew. Yeah, I lost like all of it now. Let's see. He leaned back. Ooh. Oh my god, come on! Might be better for the scope. There we go. And then you want to crouch and uncrouch. The right moment. There we go. 
struggled a little bit there, but that's like my fastest time. Yeah, we got that. That's pretty much the only equip we're gonna do. We're gonna activate the tower after this. I'm gonna try to do a travel strat and see if it ends up working out. Seven minutes when we finish the first shrine. That's really good, actually. I guess nowadays it's kind of bad. <laughs> I think usually uh, now it's like 10 minutes and people f are like halfway. It is insane. We want to wait till this text dialogue disappears and the monks starts uh, disappearing. Because if you skip right away, you're actually losing time with during the load screen. Like now it's going to load a lot faster, I think. Just like that. There we go. This should work. There we go. Well, it works. And we can get this. I'm in trousers now. Perfect. I'm gonna take this guy's shield. Because having an extra shield's gonna be nice. Now we got a Boko shield. And you got the old man glitching to the tower. And this thing happens uh, if you activate the tower after you complete your first shrine. <laughs> um, old man is actually not there. Um, you just gain the camera angles. Pretty much. <laughs> you get no dialogue, so you can just kind of awkwardly uh watch this pretty weird oh it's such a funny glitch game does not like it <laughs> and we can do a shield jump here i actually want to kill the ragdoll this is important for later because we got the bow earlier we can do Wind bombs once we obtain the bomb rune, which hopefully we get the right angles. Cause they can be a little tricky in the in these shrines. Pryonis is probably the hardest one. The only downside to the Great Plateau is like it takes like half an hour at least usually, like 15 to 30 minutes. I say 15 to 30 minutes because. Like the record's like 14 minutes. People are absolutely insane. It should work, I hope. Not bad, not bad. Could have been better, but we got a decent one. And we can do this. Perfect. And thanks to Wind Bomb, that made that a really fast shrine. All right, that is three down. Perfect. And now we just got to make it to Cryonis, and we can pretty much get this thing rolling. And we're gonna cook these peppers. We really don't really need um, 12 minutes, so I probably could have just done a really basic one. I'm curious, like, how long this is actually going to take. My guess is probably, like, an hour and a half or two hours. It's probably about right. And we can do a field surf over here. Whoa! Mess that up a little bit, but we got there fast. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's how it's supposed to go. We'll see if I can get this wind bomb first try, because this one could be a little tricky. Link is just vibrating. What the hell? He's still vibrating. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh. It works, it works. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. He almost got stuck on the lamp there too. What the hell? And I'll equip this. Perfect. Nice. This should work. There we go. And you can kind of see the old man there. And, uh, yeah, we can just fly like this. That's how I like to make it over here. Usually doing it this way, I have, like, no issues, usually. So, and there we go. That works a lot better. Come on, man. Get up there. Jeez. And now with wind bombs, we can make our way to Patano because we gotta die our which our shirt and pants. Obviously, that's like the main part of the run. That's where it's gonna really feel like this is starting. We're fine on hearts. So we're gonna use to get the bonus hearts cooked up like party foods like on the way to Rito we can get like hearty durian so it's not really a problem I'm on there we go let's see uh how far we can make our way over here Yeah, I'm not good at these. I'll probably just do wind bombs, to be honest. It's so much easier. Yeah, like that. That's so much easier to do. It's just hard to control BLSS. I'm actually gonna aim over here. Gotta get some better. When bomb spot. All right, maybe here is good. Yeah. Eh, so so. And we can go up here. Yeah, pretty good. And we got. That's what oh God. Running out of resources right now. Take the last bit of food we can eat, which is not great. This is by Farron. Probably my least favorite region in normal game, just because it's always raining or there's a thunderstorm over there. It's just a pain to get around that area. We don't have to worry about that now, but still kind of sucks actually some hardy durians here which i see some already perfect then we don't have to stop by the the tory mountain later iron shroom i don't know if you'll need that to be honest Yeah, this is going to make it a lot easier later. <laughs> then we can just cook these hardy durians up. Actually, yeah, I'll take the iron shrooms just for some wind bomb food, I guess. Any more trees nearby? Over here. Perfect. And that's probably good to be honest. We don't really need more. And now we can keep going. Cause yeah, we only have to do Aruta, so really not too bad. 
and yeah, we obviously want to go in that direction then. That was a pretty good wind bomb too. The thing is, we don't necessarily have to go to the tower. We just need to get to Hateno, so we are not going that way. So we're gonna go like up top of this mountain, and I think that next wind bomb should actually take us there. Which is perfect because that's like all the wind bomb food we got right now. All right. Yep, we're making it. Yeah, we're just going to activate this shrine. Come on. <laughs> the music just activated. That's funny. All right. And we're going to cook up these durians that we got. And that gives us a 20 bonus hearts, which is huge. <laughs> Our items are really bad right now, if it's not obvious. All right. Let's do it. All right. We're going to get our first die. We are doing green first. Nice. And we're going to skip this. And now we got the green. We just need the blue. Technically, it, we're in blue right now, but I want the blue pants. Kind of go around because... It's kind of an awkward spot. There we go. All right, we need three more. And they're usually all here. There's two on that, like, second tree, usually. Yep. And sometimes there's a fourth on, like, that tree. But it might be gone. I think it's, like, RNG. But I'm going to crawl just in case. Oh, we got our five. We're good. All right, cool. Pick these up a little bit more. Oh my God, I forgot about this. <laughs> Shoot, I activated the opening cutscene. Whoops, I forgot about that. If you go too close to where the opening cutscene is, it will just activate. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. That's funny. I just want more shrooms. It's just zooming in that like empty space. That's so funny. We want to unequip this. You ready? Shirtless link. Oh yeah. Let's get our blue pants. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice. We got our Seahawks colors. Let's go. Now is where the run truly begins. There's the Divine Beast for what can I do? All right, here we go. I wonder if you can die to Phantom Helmet. If you could, I'd probably do that. <laughs> All right, gonna go this way. These are really good wind bombs right now. I didn't exactly work how I want, but it works. Oh, mighty thistles. That's going to be huge. It's going to be our 
beetle replacements. And we're gonna yeah, want that. Actually, that could be useful. And we get some nice eel wolves here. It was actually good to stop by. All right. Ah, 16 higher orbs. That's huge, actually. What is this? Oh, we got some bird eggs. Yeah, we got plenty of things to heal with. Probably won't need all this. There we go. There we go. These horrible herbs are gonna help a ton. Let's see if we can start another one here. Yep. That's pretty much what the rest of this run's gonna be. A bunch of wind bombs. Boom. That actually wasn't good. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, we're killing it right now. We're just flying by. Let's see if we can get up here. That'd be pretty big. What the hell? Oh my god, that was close, man. Very interesting how he didn't enter bolt time. Here should work though. Yep. Perfect. And we got enough height. Oh, thank God. There's sun shrooms right here. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Thank God, man. Woo. We can get two of them. Because we're gonna want some bomb arrows. All right, there it is. And we gotta cook up these sunshrooms. Uh, oh, okay, Link. Bunch of flickering there. What the hell? And we got a level two for ten minutes. So that's good. All right, now we just gotta activate the quest. Please don't bonk. I still kind of bonk, but it worked. <laughs> oh my god, that was close. All right, this is gonna help a ton. I'm dropping this. That's not gonna help. I'll cook these, I guess. If we really need it, I'll use it. All right. Last part of the run. Revali's gonna try to talk to us, but we don't care. We got a run no. to do. I learned from like speedruns, like apparently you can do this without like activating the whole control unit, which is pretty funny. So I'm just gonna do that. That guy. Nope, we're not going there. Peace. Helps us get this. All right. There's the first one. There are four. Yeah, yeah, that's great, Revali. That's great. All right. And we kill this guy. We want max height and then go over here. Eat. 
Easy. God. Yeah, those materials might have been perfect, actually. Five we had too much, but there are three. Might be perfect amount. Yeah, we got plenty of things to heal with. I won't need all this. Jeez. Getting down to the wire on the health. And then there's this part. And we're gonna just do this. All right. Cause us to get our third one. Oh wait, yeah, we don't have a map. <laughs> And we go over here. Yeah, we're doing great, actually. And now we can just go over here. Last food here. to take lap to it time to get out of here and there we go here we go let's finish this his aim is dead on what all right 17 bomb arrows, pretty good. Hit himself with the tornado, what a noob. And we're gonna use ice arrows. Nice. Falcon Ball is perfect for his fight. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, that's pretty close, but we're safe. Oh, got greedy there. But well, we're about to finish this. Nice. And what's up? There we go. Pretty good. Um, that was a fun run, actually. Finished the game with Seahawks colors. We got the green, navy, blue, and um, pretty much just bows and wind bombs. A lot of that and uh that was super fun so definitely want to do more of that i guess i could have used the cold resistance but i wasn't sure how fast i'd get through the divine bees but i was pretty fast um that was a lot of fun man what a fun challenge that was <laughs>